The American Hockey League veteran rule is one this organization has historically struggled with. The AHL established the rule to limit the number of veteran players on a roster to five. The Wolves have six. The one thing about our six veterans, they're all impact players in their own way. Haydar and Sterling might be goal scorers. Debian and, uh, and Gordon are grinders, and you know Ebbett, Jocelyn, they're you know they're specialty team guys, and they're you know good veterans that know how to play in the, both this league and the NHL. So you get your mix. And you, who's who deserves to be in over the other? There really isn't a clear-cut you know case there. It, it puts teams in a, in a tough position because you're allowed five veterans uh, on the ice at any time. You can have as many veterans on your team as you want, but only five can play on any given night. So they're restricting the uh, age limit, uh, games played limit, basically a veteran. You become a veteran in the American Hockey League with 260 pro games played. So that's not a lot of games. That's just under over four years. I think Jocelyn, we were, thought that he was uh, going to be under the limit and the league came back and said he was like a game or two games above it that we didn't know about it. So that maybe that was, uh, that's a good answer for the, the previous question. That was a, the biggest surprise for all of us is that we thought we were good with five and then we ended up having six right before the season. But It was one game that pushed Jocelyn over the total number of games played that determines a player's veteran status. One game that ultimately means rotating the veteran six all season long. One of them has to sit every night. All of them are impact players. It's, it's definitely frustrating, and uh, especially we didn't really know about it until a couple days before <laughs> the season opened. But, you know, you pull those six guys in and you look around and you're trying to figure out, oh, okay, well, maybe that guy will just sit the first three or four games. But that's not the case because all six are kind of very integral parts of our team and, and we need we would love to have all six playing so at some point you just say hey fair is fair and we just we'll just take turns sitting out they get the situation they've been talked to by uh you know coach Arneo and they've been uh, understand the situation i don't think any any vet f feels that they're better than any other vet um, and they understand it's a, it's a tough situation somebody has to sit so uh you know it's just if, as long as it's not back-to-back -back games and you know you're sitting for a long time. As tough of a juggling act as this is for the coaches and for the hockey operations staff, Wendell Young concedes that it could be worse. It's, it's tough some nights uh, if you have extra vets and uh, right now we uh, presently we have one extra vet so uh, you got to move one vet in and out every night and you know usually your vets are some of your better players some of your leaders so it's a tough situation where you're not uh, taking out a young kid or, or a guy just learning the pro game, you're taking out a, a guy that's ex got experience that's been around and expects to play every night and you gotta go tap him on the shoulder and tell him he's not playing on any given night. So it, it's a tough situation but we can deal with one. If you have two extra vets, it's a recipe for disaster. I think it, it, it makes a lot of players disgruntle and, and right now uh, we have one extra and it's working. It's not a favorable position to be in. The biggest thing is I brought the six veterans in and talked to them all and they're, they're all on board. They, they know that we'll do a rotation thing for now and um, we'll maybe if we keep the NHL keeps going and being locked out, we may not do it you know all season, but it might be a situation for now until um, just a little bit of the fairness kind of give everybody an opportunity. And um, you know what? All I can say is the six veterans have handled it professionally. They've handled it first class and they've been great teammates with it. So um, no issues with that. And that's just uh, when it comes to the rest of the roster, it's just not letting guys sit too long. It's if a guy's missed two, uh, one or two or three games to make sure they find a way to get him into that lineup and uh, you know, make sure that he's feeling like he's a part of it. So uh, they're tough decisions. They're headache decisions sometimes for me, especially when guys play well and then you maybe pull them out of the lineup or you win a game and everybody's a big part of that and then you got to change the lineup the next night. But so far the guys have been really good about it.